Hey everybody, it's Lisa Derby Odin, Project Development Coordinator, and today I'm here with Jesse Burke. Uh, this one will be fun for me too because we have um, a bunch of new people at Mass MEP, so it's kind of exciting to get to meet everybody and get to know them a little bit better. So welcome, Jesse. Thank you so much for taking your time to do this. And uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for having me. This is a great, great opportunity. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, okay, great. So we'll just go ahead and jump right in. Um, people, of course, are going to want to know what's your role, what's your job title, and, and what do you do on a day in, day out basis at Mass MEP? Sure. So I am the finance director. Again, I've been here two months now, so I'm still trying to figure out the job. Um, but no, honestly, it's, it's to manage the um, and, and report on the financial wealth of the company, you know, and the organization. Um, you know, letting everybody know, you know, where our expenses are, where our income's coming from, and, you know, again, reporting that out, making sure we're, we're in compliance as well. Yeah, that's great. That that's a big job, and certainly, like in the nonprofit environment, and with the the various funding streams that um, you know apply to us and that kind of thing, uh, I would think that it would take a little bit of uh, time to actually you know get your arms around that. Um, but so, what I'd love to know is how did you discover Mass MEP, and can you tell us what your career path was before you joined us? Sure. So I've been in the um finance industry for the last 20 plus years, working for private and public companies. Um, and so, you know, my last job, I was like, it's time for uh, you know change. And so I just reached out to a recruiting agency. Um, and it's the same guy who actually got me the job eight years ago at the last company I was at. So um, me and him Excellent. are two for two. And, um, you know, I'm you never worked in a nonprofit. So this is very exciting to me. I love coming to work every day um, and discovering and learning. And it's just, it's been a lot, it's been a lot of fun. That's great. So, so it sounds like you have an excellent background for the work that you're doing with us. That's awesome. Um, so now when you come to work, you obviously you must be a numbers guy, right? Yes. So, so I guess, uh, you know, inquiring minds want to know, what is it that you, is the, is the thing that you love about your work and what you do? All right. So basically, I mean, what I have to do is the same repetitive work, I'd say almost on a monthly basis, and you're closing out the books for a, for a month. And each month, I love to do my job better, faster, continuous improvement, right? Ah. I'm trying to get trying to trying to get my work done as quickly as fast as possible, as accurately as possible. So that way, I have time to do the fun stuff, do the analytics. And again, I want to show it to the finance, or I'd like to show it to the leadership team, and basically help them understand the numbers and make sure that we are on track with our NIST funding, um, with all the different grants, make sure our, our, our costs are lined up and that we're gonna be able to draw down on those grants. You know, uh, that's tremendous. I know that, um, you know, when you're talking about the analytics, I would think that that would be really a key function. And, and certainly, you know, not everybody is a numbers person. I think there's probably less numbers people than there are non-numbers people. So, you know, it's a good thing that we've got somebody who's so numbers oriented in your role and working with us here at Mass MEP. So once you um, have shut your door on work and you're no longer in the office, what is it that you like to do for hobbies or for your passion outside of work? Sure, I mean, it's, it's spending time with the family, right? I've got three boys and you know, whether, you know, we're big into sports. Um, so again, it's, I've loved watching my kids play sports. Um, I've enjoyed coaching them, you know, throughout the last 13 years or so. Wow. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, with COVID now it's, it's, it's taking a break. So I kind of had, you know, Hey, what am I doing myself? So, but no, we found other, you know, things to do, um, we'll play tennis together and just, you know, go for walks and just spend time together as a family, play game board games and just, you know, bond. Yeah. Who knew that board games would once again <laughs> be popular, right? <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> hey, how, how old are your kids? So I've got one who's 20, uh, one's gonna be 17 at the end of the month, and the youngest one is 13. Oh, that's great. And what sports in particular were the, have they been into? Um, so we're talking baseball, football, and basketball. Awesome, awesome. That's great, Jesse, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna close this session out with um, asking you to tell us three things about yourself two that are true and one that's made up. And then we're gonna guess at the made up one offline. Okay, so I'd say the first thing is I bowl in a bowling league here in Auburn, Mass. 
Okay. Uh, and the second one would be, I married my high school sweetheart. Okay. And then the third one would be, I played uh, tennis in college. Excellent. Those, you know, from, from the, what you shared with us here today, it's going to be difficult, I think, to choose which one of those is, is uh, not true. So yeah. anyway, thank you so much for joining us and taking some time. And I look forward to seeing you around the office when everything gets going again. Likewise. Thank you, Lisa, for having me. It was great. Okay. Take care. Take care.